Welcome everyone, it's home tour day. And this is my newest listing, 1193 Alaire Loop. I'm in the village of Fernandina, which is south of 466A. And we are in between Morse and um, Buena Vista, probably about a mile, maybe a little more from Brownwood Paddock Square. This is an Iris model, three bed, two bath, no bond. Seriously, no bond. It's really hard to find in this section. Uh, two car and a car garage. And the home is immaculate. So we're gonna go take a tour inside, but first, oh, shade. This is morning. So this is the front of the home. It faces like, this is north, due north. That's east, northeast coming over this way. So it's not quite total west facing one eye, but you got a little bit of sun back there at night. Sunsets here are magnificent. I was here the other night. It was so beautiful. Um, listing price is $525,000, but what I was going to say, gentlemen, I'm going to take you into the garage first. We have two car and a car garage and lots of storage in the attic. Wait till you see it. You don't have to worry about where you're going to put your Christmas tree because we have a place for you here in this home. So let's go on in and take a look. Before we start, make sure you go to my website, robincavallero.com, and here's the address here. Uh, you can search for any home that's available here, well, in Florida, but in the villages. And what I've done is I've broken it down by sections. So if you want to search the historic area, you want to search Marion County, you want to search south of 44, and on and on. You can just click on it and search it. You can save the searches. It'll send you emails with market updates. You get notes from me all of the time reminding you, hey, I'm here, do you need help? So don't forget, go and search my website and also get my book. It's available in Amazon on print, in print on Amazon. Also, you can get it on Kindle or as a download on my website. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. All right, let's take a look in the garage. As promised. This is again two car and a cart. They do have epoxy on the flooring, some storage, you know, hooks for your ladder. Water filtration system. There's extra lighting in here too. This is your air handler in the garage. Again, the air handler, hot water heater are 2012. All right, I am going to climb up the stairs and just so you know, I'm deathly afraid of heights. I know that doesn't look high, but it still freaks me out a little bit, but I'm doing it for you because I want you to see where you can put your Christmas tree and all your luggage and all the extra boxes and whatever else you have. We have storage right up there. All right, let's go climb the steps. <laughs> I'm gonna be really careful. Okay. I know, I'm sorry, the light dimmed, but you can see the extra storage that they put up here. Uh, look, they've got not a lot of things here, but there is a lot of room. So you definitely can keep anything extra that you have will fit. Well, I don't want to say anything. I don't know what you're trying to put up here, but you definitely have storage in here. All right, I'm going to back down the steps, but I have to shut the camera off. Um, well, here, this might be entertaining. I don't think I'm gonna fall because I did this already and the sound was off. So let's, uh, one step at a time, here we go. I feel like, what was that, Dirty Jobs? It's not a Dirty Job, but it took you to extreme places. Mike, Mike Rowe, Dirty Jobs, there you go. All right, let's now go take a look at the interior. I always like to come in the front through the front entrance. I like the leaded glass that they have on this door, and that is a really pretty arrangement. All right, let's go on in. Right. Welcome home. So we do have a little bit of a foyer entryway so you're not walking right into the living room. Ceramic tile on the floor and if you look directly to the left 
There's a pocket door and this is where we have two bedrooms and a bath. There's carpet in the bedrooms. Oh, there's the homeowner, she's reading. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, it's funny. She and my granddaughter have the same name. So I am going to bring my Clara to meet this Clara. So this is the third bedroom and it does have a closet. It isn't one that's a den and high volume ceiling. And they have storage and um, organizers in the closets, which is always a bonus. And there is a window treatment here. Where is it? Um, here, I don't want to pull it on there, but there's a window treatment up there. We just had it up because today we're doing a photo shoot. All right, this is the front bedroom. This has high volume ceiling as well. A little bit of a bump out. So, you know, you can use this obviously as a bedroom, you can use it as an office, put a sleeper sofa in here and you still have um, an office with a spare room. And I wanna show you, this is ingenious. So the homeowner loves to cook. And you know, most of the homes here, they might not have a really big pantry, but she's turned this into a pantry. And you can see how organized she is and how much space she has to keep all her extra food. And I mean, seriously, this would be perfect for me. I love to cook, but um, when you have guests, they always don't have a ton of clothing. So you could cut, put them in this first room and maybe just clear out some things for their clothes or have a dresser, or you put them in the second guest room. Um, but this just gives you an idea of if you really like to cook and you like to bulk shop and you need extra storage and you don't want to put things that you're going to need every day or every couple of days in the attic, you can utilize one of your closets in your bedroom because let's face it, how often do you really have guests that this becomes a concern? This is really for you to live and be comfortable. So think about this as an alternative when you want to uh, create more storage or you need more pantry space to turn one of your closets into a pantry. So yeah, very nice house. All right, let's, uh, let's continue on. And this is the guest bathroom. This is tile and this is a ceramic tub. It's not the insert. And there's a linen closet in the hallway. All right, so now we're in the entranceway and now we're walking through the dining room. Crown molding. Like I said, there's ceramic tile throughout the home except the bedrooms. And here's something that I like that the homeowners have done. So, you know, they have the dining room behind me and then here's the eat off in the kitchen, but they've turned this third space to find a place to eat into just a little sitting area. So I think it's, you know, a different use of the space because really, do you need three places to eat? Take a look, have cabinets, have slide outs. That's a big pantry. Granite countertops. They do have LED lights above the kitchen cabinets. 
they're turned on. I don't know if you can see it with the light. And there is a solar tube here in the kitchen. This is a nice range. I like this little oven at the top. You can use it for warming, but just if you have something small that you want to roast, you don't have to turn your big oven on and you don't like, I have a Tavola oven on my counter. My countertops are kind of crowded. And there, this is a nice looking solar tube. Sometimes I see them, they're yellow and they have bugs in them. It's kind of disgusting. This is nice. And we have big deep sink undermount. I'll just do a pan again and I'm going to take you into the master and then onto lanai. Oh, there is an interior laundry. That's right off of the garage. I'll take you in there as well. All right, let's go into the master. Now this does have a tray ceiling and plantation shutters. They have plantation shutters in the front room, the, um, the sitting room off of the kitchen, and also in the bedroom. Roman shower. I like that. It's very spa-ish. I like the shower head. Robin approves of the shower head. <laughs> Dual vanities. You need a chair if you want to put your makeup on or talk on the phone. Extra linen storage. Huge, huge. Hers and partially his closet <laughs> with organizers. There is so much room in here. It should not have an issue with finding space. And... Look at that. So you can see how you're looking during the day. <laughs> yeah, you know, because the ceiling is so high and there is attic access there, it, this room just feels so much larger than a normal closet. And they do have a pet, they have a cat, but I tell you, I do not detect any type of pet odor. And this home is not being sold turnkey and the golf cart is not included because they are still going to reside here in the villages. So you have two sliders out onto Lanai. The Lanai is enclosed. It does not have a mini split, but I mean, today you don't need it. Um, these do open. They floor to ceiling. The windows will open and there are screens. And those are the dark screens, so you cannot see in from the outside, but you can see out from the inside. And I'm gonna be just quiet here for a little bit. You can't hear the traffic. and. So there isn't, I'm going to turn this around and put this face in it. So when it comes to traffic, when it comes to traffic noise, um, you know, sometimes really near the turnpike, it's really loud. Now this is still only probably 30 miles an hour. So the cars are not going fast. Um, there is not a sound in this house. And honestly, when you're looking for a home, typically, the homes are absolutely quiet, but when you live in them, primarily they're not. You might have the TV on, you might have a radio on, so it's probably not that disturbing. And I've come to the realization after showing hundreds of homes here, thousands of homes in the villages, that I think I would prefer the road, not the turnpike, but one of these interior roads, 
over a neighbor being in my backyard because these people are coming by and not stopping and looking. Your neighbors are right in your backyard all the time and you see that at this price level. Now, it might not bother most people. I don't want to tug this with one hand, uh, but these do open. Um, but, you know, that's everyone has to be able to judge for themselves what works for them. Let's take another pan of the lanai. And you, obviously you could keep this open and come out from the kitchen. So that's screened in and actually that is open. So you can, you can hear a little bit of the traffic cause that's open. But there's room in here for a television if you wanted to put one, great entertaining space. And this is epoxy on the floor too. So it's finished off. But this lanai is not part of the total square footage. It's not under air and it's, you know, we still have the sliders here. It's not at the level of the home. All right, before we finish, I want to take you on a walk around the exterior of the home. This is the home is to my back I say again the golf cart does not convey this is two and a half or two car and a cart garage the pots and the lawn ornaments also do not convey with the home they're going with the homeowner they are sorry it's a little wobbly uh, they're downsizing and moving to another home in the villages <laughs> All right, now I'm walking around the side of the home. Obviously the home has uh, irrigation. And this is just a little pan of the neighborhood. And here we go. Yeah, I walk a little wobbly there. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm mentioning through here that, you know, sometimes in Florida you'll find little cracks in the stucco. It's not structural, but I didn't find any of this on the home. But I do want you to see in behind is Anna Maria, which is not as busy as Morse or Buena Vista. It's definitely less busy than that. But there are cars and carts in the backyard. They've done a nice job at creating some privacy but once you have the window shut and you can see here these screens are private you you can see the light but you cannot see in from the road but you can see out from the interior so it's still nice and bright inside but you don't feel like you have people gawking inside of your home and as i mentioned i am of the opinion i would prefer that than um a kissing lanai but there's some nice landscaping out here and I said this is south of four, between 466A and 44. So this is the Brownwood section. It is between Buena Vista and Morse. I just want you to see the road. They have a flagpole. And I'm going to finish taking a walk around the side. There we go. Well, it gives you an idea of what the home looks like from the exterior. Okay, so that concludes this home to, oh no, wait a minute. Hey, I forgot the laundry room. Let's go. So there isn't a door here, but this is the garage. So you come in through the garage and you have your laundry and utility sink with some storage cabinets to hide all of your Tide or whatever your soap choice is for your clothing. <laughs> That's all my stuff. All 
All right, everyone, thank you for joining me on this home tour of 1193 Allaire Loop. If you're looking for this home or any home in the villages, you want to list your home because this is my listing. Call me for an appointment, for a private showing, or if you're not in town, I will be happy to do a FaceTime or Zoom call so you can check out this beautiful home here in the village of Fernandina. I'm Robin Cavallaro, I'm a realtor here in the state of Florida and your village's buying agent specialist and home lister. I do it all. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm off Pickleball League this morning, so I gotta get going. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. Again, thank you for joining me and thanks for watching, subscribing and sharing. It helps the channel grow. I really do appreciate every one of you out there. So until next time, I'll see ya.